Hello and welcome to this holiday edition of the Horner Report. I'm Sina Rampula. And I'm Jess D'Agostino. As you can see, we've decorated accordingly, but don't worry, we are all inclusive, Santa hats, dreidels, and all. This is my absolute favorite time of year, the hot chocolate, the snow, and of course, winter break. What are you looking forward to the most this break? Well, I'm really excited to spend some really good time with my family, maybe read a good book, and enjoy more than four hours of sleep. How about you? Oh, that's wonderful. I can't wait for Christmas Eve. I'm preparing some of the seven fishes for dinner. And I also love caroling, which is why I have no voice. I love it, I love it that much. <laughs> it's so close, yet so far. Nice, well, we're just days away. The stories for this week are another Duncan run with Wes, this time featuring G. Thurs, Beside a Single Fern with Nick Vesley, The Greatest Memories of 2017 with Ivy Chung, and a sports report on the new winter season with our very own Jack Samet. Let's get started. So we have a celebrity among us. Let's kick off the episode with Wesley's Duncan Run with Homedale's very best. Jeethers, Wesley. Hey, Rye. Thanks so much for showing me how to get to Duncan. I'm not entirely sure how to do it. No problem, man. So you just released a new album, is that right? Yeah, I just did it with my group, Triple H. It's like me, MCK. Who else? MCK, a friend, go, Home Bell, goes to high tech. All right. Okay, so can you give us like the vibe of what kind of music you have on your new album? So it's called the Jazz Trap EP because I wanted to be original by combining jazz music right. and trap, which really hasn't been done before. I just coined the term basically. So kind of like Frank Sinatra mixed with Eminem. In a way, but Eminem's not exactly trap, you feel me? Like, yeah, the right. lyrical substance you. of Eminem, but more of trap instrumentals. Sounds good. So what is an EP? It's um, an extended play, basically more than just one single, but not enough for a full album or an LP. All right, that sounds that sounds pretty lit. I've known about you as a rapper for some pretty long time now, yeah. since like middle school. Yeah, I feel eighth like. grade, eighth that, grade, like October. Is, is that when you made your debut as G Thurs? Yeah, I did, and then I was always G Thurs, and then right. uh, some kid called me G Swags. Always and forever. And then people called me that, and then I just said, "Get that away from me! I'm just G Thurs. Forget G Thurs own." Just only G thirds. Only G thirds. I took out any swag. Right, swags. Swags like last year. Swags. Th no, that's swags middle over. school. That's middle, middle school. school. Swag is is very middle school. It's yeah. not on trend. Maybe so on a scale from like one to ten, ten being the freshest. Mm -hmm. How how fresh do you need your beats to be to to make them into a song? I think at least. A 7.5. 7.5 fresh level. So that's like, yeah. that's like fresa. That's like strawberry in Spanish. Yeah, fresh. I, I just take that and see what can I improve from there. You know, build on it. All right, that sounds pretty to good. To make it more of a 10 or higher. <laughs> always, always a 10. Always yeah. go for the 10. Always go for the 10. Last name ever. First name greatest. Like a sprained ankle. Boy, I ain't nothing to play with. Started off no go, but thanks to all the haters, I know G4 pilots on a first name basis. In your city, made it off the ground. Nino, she insists she got more class. We know. Okay, how many people are in that song? Four. Oh, who are they? Oh, lit. Green light. All right. Drake. Let's go. That means go, baby. All right. Drake, Kanye, Lil Wayne, Eminem. So, so like the legends. Yeah, pretty much. Man. So like the big names in rap. Yeah. Where's Kanye on this? Because I'm kind of obsessed with the Kardashians, so I always want to see good things so, come to that. You just cut off the chorus right before the Kanye verse, actually. That's okay. <laughs> I don't like Famous. I don't think Famous is a good song. I like the music video. It's pretty hilarious. Oh, whip. What a great parking spot. Where are we nailed it. Okay. Let's go. All right, I got my usual. I got my medium iced um, coffee with cream and mocha. What'd you get? I got a hot chocolate, dude. Hot chocolate. Oh dude. my god, I burned my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay. Nah, all right, I'm let's all... keep it going. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, I'm glad. So, as long as you're okay, as long as your tongue's okay, I'm gonna have to ask you your new single, your new e EP? From the new EP, yeah. Off the chain. Off the chain. Who's it featuring? 
It's just me and MCK. We it's just, just you and MCK? Doors MCK off the chain. All right, that's, that's, that sounds fantastic. I'm gonna ask you to throw, to, throw down some bars from this, uh, yeah, what I can tell is We can do fire. karaoke. Yeah, we'll do karaoke. All right, let's go, all right? It's about the time to go and celebrate. Go have some fun, relieve my stress today. You better turn up and blast the music loud. Cause we up in the house, about to lose it now. We finna cut loose. Go off the chain, then a cut loose, ayy. Go off the chain, then a cut loose, and just go insane. Go on off the chain, go on off the chain. It's about that time I'm losing it. No more calm and no more same. Been a long time, but I ain't new to this. Time to rage, go off the chain. Music way too loud, I'm seeing sounds, I'm hearing visions, I'm feeling flavors. No idea what time it is, but we're turning up, and man, you can't save us. Getting low like Mike Pence. That analogy did not make sense. What's going on? I dropped the mic, slipped on the mic, flipped on my side when I hit the ground. Get the house shaking like an earthquake, and I'm in the matrix. Can't go real but fake, but if it's all illusion, I still would taste it. Hey, out of control. I couldn't stop it even if I tried. Even if all the power in here died. Even if all I turned out to be white. Even if Steven Spielberg and an 18 wheeler came crashing into the side. No, I cannot stop that. Would not be polite if I said I could stop it. I'm sorry, I lied. What would you say are top five rappers, in your opinion, and then like all time? My top five rappers are, um, it's like Eminem, Tech 9 yeah, Tupac, uh -huh. Nas, and I think someone, Black Thought from The Roots. Nice. All right. Um, I don't know who any of those people are. I've got to be, I've got to be honest. Do you think you could drop some bars, drop some uh, freestyle about right, I mean, just about anything? I mean, like, I am about the bars. I don't carry a tune here. Saying a lot more than Mariah Carey on New Year's. It's carpe diem, but each move's planned out. We all try to fit in, but only greats stand out. If you really want to know the top five best of jurors, you gotta include Red Man, Joe Button, Lauren Hill, Tretch, and Thurs. And don't say I'm goofy if your career is a joke, because unlike you. I leave this mic in smoke. Oh! <laughs> All right, yeah, yeet. Oh, this Honda yeah. is lit. All right, well, thanks, man. Thanks for showing me how to get to Duncan. I honestly no problem. I this was actually every time. a fun time, man. This was lit. I'm glad this worked out. We had some technical difficulties right. along the way, but yeah, we got it was this. Is, it was pretty fire track. I expect to see a, a new song about this interview very soon. I will call it the interview. I'm glad. Or I might call it the Swan. I don't know. Either one. Either way, the that Swan sounds interview. amazing. I'll even be featured in it. All right. Yeah. Do the chorus, man. <laughs> I got some spoken word skills. All right. All right. Thanks so much. No problem, man. Please. See you later. I love you. Take care. Wow. Sounds great. I'm definitely gonna go check out that music. Great job, Gthers and Wesley. Now on to our next segment. Beside a single fern with Nick Vesley. The best way to describe this segment is this. It's an interview conducted by Nick beside a single fern. Okay, maybe it's not a fern fern, but it could be. Nick? Hi, uh, today uh, we're, we're doing beside a single fern. Um, I'm Nick Vesley, and today we're joined by a... Uh, could you pronounce this for me? Stupid. Today we're joined by Stupid. First up, uh, so how was your weekend? I want to get to know you. It was good. Um, so it snowed. You know. It's not actually stupid, right? No. What is it then? My name. My name is Russell. Russell Alexi. Pretty stupid name. Continue. So it snowed over the weekend. Um, what okay wait hold up let me let me get something straight is like are, am i supposed to be in here for a disco interview or like keep talking about my weekend or like, keep, like keep, what do you want to know i want you to keep talking tell me about your weekend um i had a spanish test today that happened over the weekend i don't think so i had to study for it over the weekend but no i had a spanish test today um Is this like, is this supposed to be happening? <laughs> Tell me about Disco. You run a company, right? I do, it's right here. So what are you about? 
what am i about um like what is disco about or like what is the company about tell me what you stand for like as a movement or like what i mean basically i'm a, i was always like interested in arts and history and stuff and you want, you want to get in on some of this i mean <laughs> I think you just cut me. You did. All right. Definitely Let's take a seat before I file charges against you. Um, okay, yeah. So I was always interested in like art and fashion and history and stuff. And it's, well, it's called, I don't know, disco for a reason. Um, it's like, it was always supposed to be like historical inspired uh, clothing like based off historical art and like music is a form of art and disco is a type of music. I was always into disco when I was like little. You got a little on your eye. So how much money have you made? Because, you know, you're, you're a pretty big company. You got a trademark going, right? I do have a trademark. Uh, I don't really want to talk about like how much money I made. I don't really like... So you made none? Like barely breaking even? I mean... I'm definitely breaking even. Are you? Why can't you report that? I just, I don't like putting putting that kind of information out there, if, the, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, because you don't make any. Must, like, is this supposed to, is this what's supposed to Is that your, to is, that, is that your uh, uh, sweatshirt? You made that? Uh, yeah, I did. You handmade that? You, you know, did? No. Then who did? I'm I have a partnership with Gildan, who makes, like, the, the actual garment. And <laughs> you're bleeding really bad. Like, I, Excuse me, that's not the question I asked you. Um, yeah, I have a partnership with Gildan, and they make like the garments, and then, <laughs> and then I could I buy the garments for like very cheap with our partnership, and then I sent them I send them to a local shop in Freehold. What do you think about this fur? Does it smell good? It smells like a fern. <coughs> It smells like Windex. Yeah. yeah, we cleaned it today. Oh. Let's talk personal. Okay. What's your family like? Um, I have a brother, a mother, a father. We live together in one house. Really? I thought you lived in like four different houses. I want you to ask me some questions because I feel like this is a very one-sided thing. Yeah, it is. Um, so wait, hold up. First of all, something clear. Like, what, what is this right now? That's Why? not the question I asked you, but okay. So, um... Ask me something. I, I'm I'm willing to get a little bit personal here. What do you think about disco? What are your What are your opinions on my, my uh, mediocrity, to say the least? I recently came up with some ideas uh, for a clothing line of my own. I was hoping that uh, you might be able to just like be open to suggestions. Sure, yeah. I'm always open. Uh, here we have the totally rad 2017 hat. Um, it's visor. Comes with a you know a protective uh, UV uh, brim. As, as you can see, it says totally rad on it. Could, could, I, you, could you wear it? Yeah. No. Could I hold it? Uh, perhaps. Okay, now this looks and feels like it got flushed down the toilet three times. That's a lie. It was twice. So, looks better on the plant than it would on you anyway. Uh, Fair enough. More questions. Let's keep these questions coming. This is, yeah, this this is, good. is good. I like it. This is good. I like it very much. Um, do you do these often, Horner reports, like beside, like what is this called on the on the side of, side of one fern? It's actually beside one fern. Beside one fern. This is our you're, sort of you're cut day. So badly. <laughs> Who's that? This is Stuffins. Stuffins. You can talk to him. Hey, Stuffins, how are you? Shut up. Are we done? Like like this? Like. <clears throat> Come on, you're running the show. That's right. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah. Um, you dating anyone right now? I'm not. I'm single. Wow. Are you dating anyone right now? That's all. That's all the time that we have. Uh, that's all the time that we have here today on uh, Beside a Single Fern. Uh, please join us next time when we have a better guest. Oh, wow. All right, well, thank, thank you for having me.
That was really a touching. Nick really captures the um, holiday spirit. Very original. Now on to Ivy Chung's segment, The Greatest Memories of 2017. Jess, can you believe it's almost 2018? Not at all. January 11th, I turn 17 and hopefully get my license. I will be accepting gifts and fan mail of any sort, my lockers in the 400s hallway. Kidding, completely. But anyway, it's definitely going to be a really awesome year. Okay, now on to the greatest moments of 2017 with Ivy Chung. So Jasmine, yeah. like 20 years from now, what's the first thing you'll think of when you think 2017? I think I'll remember probably the controversy with um, Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump because it was like a really stressful thing. Yeah. So. so what do you guys think is the most memorable part of 2017? The inauguration of President Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> same thing. Okay. I'd have to say Trump's election. I think the most memorable moment was when Boris Kazenko was elected class president for the class of 2020. The most memorable part of D uh, uh, hmm, 2017 was probably DC because I got to explore places without like my family being around me, which is like, since I come like from a big family, it's like something I can never get to do. Pepperoni because I get to skip classes and everyone was gathering around. Twenty seventeen was a pretty eventful year for me since I'm a freshman because we had DC. But I'd probably say the most eventful memory is graduation, just because we're finally out of SATs, we're gonna go into high school and it was just a really exciting time to get all dressed up and have fun with your friends. Uh, my favorite memory of twenty seventeen was going to the Broadway play Aladdin and I'm looking forward to going to Texas in twenty eighteen. A memory I have from twenty seventeen is a really cold football game that we went to and I kinda wanna forget it because because my fingers and toes were really cold and I couldn't feel them. But something I'm looking forward to in 2018 is my trip to Italy over the summer. So that's exciting. That was amazing, Ivy. Thank you so much. Now it's time for the ginger bread man himself. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, Jack Sigmund. Thanks, Sienna. Even though ho ho the boys soccer season has ended, they are still winning. Max Preps, a high school sports organization, recently honored the boys as one of the top 20 teams in the United States. I went to the ceremony to see what it was all about. You guys just got honored for the Max Preps Tour of Champions. How does it feel? Uh, it actually feels pretty cool to be honored. You know, they said 17,000 other teams. Like that, that makes you realize that you know what we did was really special and that we we we're really proud of what we did. So so it's very very honored, very humble. Yeah, it felt good and it was kind of surprising to be eight in the country and uh, yeah, it just it felt good. It's just great. We have uh, such great camaraderie on this team, and we came together, and uh, yeah, just it's great. We had a great year, and it, uh, we got recognized. It's great. So out of 17,000 students or teams, Holmdel was chosen. Why? Well, they were ranked, uh, with our computer analysis, they were ranked eight in the country, and our computer analysis looks at margin of it, victory, strength of schedule. Obviously, with them going undefeated and having no losses, uh, that catapults them up in the rankings. And so they're, they're top eight, and uh, they met the criteria. You have to be highly ranked in the Max Preps National Ranking Poll, and then also won your state championship. So they had both. One, two, three, run! Great job, boys. In other sports news, the girl basketball team won 55-35 to in their season opener against Shore Regional. Great job, girls. The girls swimming team also won their season opener against St. Rose. Great job. I'm Jack Samet, and that's the buzz in Homedale Sports. Thanks, Jack. Happy Hanukkah, and a Merry Christmas, too. I'm really looking forward to the holidays and 2018. I'm, too. From all of us here at the Horner at Port, we wish you a happy whatever you celebrate. May you have plenty of time to spend with your family and friends, eat lots of good food and cookies, and make some great New Year's resolutions to break, or maybe uphold. Regardless what you do or don't celebrate this holiday season, let's all celebrate being together and make some awesome memories to close out our 2017. Jess, I completely agree. And by the way, do you know what 2018 signifies? What? Here I get my voice back, hopefully. Let's hope so, Sienna. Let's hope so. <laughs> Follow us on all our social media. Our Instagram and Twitter is at HHS Hornet Report, and our Snapchat is at Hornet Report. Sting you next year. I'm Sienna Rampula. And I'm Jess D'Agostino. Join us next year, where we'll bring you the week's best at HHS. Oh, the weather outside.
bread is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping. And I've brought some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.